Hey travelers, Captain Carmen here. Um, as you all know, I'm going to the Asta River Cruise Expo next month in Amsterdam. And I'm really looking forward to that. The last thing I wanted to talk about, unless you guys had any other questions, you shoot my way. I wanted to talk about itineraries because a lot of people question, you know, where can I go? You know, what places can I go on a river cruise? Most people are aware of the river cruises in Europe, mainly to the Rhine and the Danube. That's the most popular and they're the ones where I think most people start out with. So I have this handy dandy map. Thank you, Animal Waterways. Just show you a little bit. Sorry for any reflection, but there's an overview on some of these main blue rivers um, in Europe, as well as Western Europe, Portugal and Spain. This is one's in France. They also have offerings on these river cruise companies to Asia with Thailand, Cambodia, some in Africa. And now we even have some new ones that have come up in um, Colombia and South America on the Magdalena River, which I have people on next year. So I'm excited about that. Um, the Rhine River goes from Amsterdam up here all the way down to Basel in Switzerland. That's the main river of the Rhine. It's the main artery in Europe that's used for transportation. It goes to the great cities of Cologne and Strasbourg, which is just gorgeous, and Rudersheim, one of my favorite places I've ever visited in the world. From here, you have the Main danube Canal that goes more from like the Luxembourg side through summer Germany, comes across, let's see if I can come over a little more, comes across as you get over into Eastern Germany or parts of it um, down towards Volshoven. That's where a lot of the cruises start there in Regensburg in that area. And then there you can get on the Danube, which a lot of Danube cruises go from here towards Volshoven, like I mentioned in Germany, south of Czech Republic, to Austria, hits a little bit of Slovenia, usually brought at Slava, and then comes down to Budapest. That's the main part of the Danube. So the Rhine, and then the Danube are the main ones. And then from here, you can continue all the way down through Serbia, Romania, all the way out. That's the full Danube transit. Some people do the entire thing in one. Some people do different ones. There's also the Netherlands here, which has the Dutch waterways if you want to go during tulip time to see the tulip seasons. And then you have different ones in France, which are down here or over on the western side of France. And then, of course, Portugal and the Douro Valley. Um, so many rivers to choose from. So people go, what river do I pick? All depends on what you like. It all depends on what you want to experience. Most people start out in one of the Rhine or the Danube cruises because they really are the ones that give you a good taste of it, depending if you have an interest in the music or the history or some of the older cities that are along the Rhine that may have been bombed, that have been rebuilt, that type of thing. Um, so there's a unique blend of what's offered there. Um, in my opinion, it doesn't matter which one you choose, just find one you like and go for it and enjoy it because you're gonna love it once you try it. Um, the Netherlands are great because if you're really into flowers and you wanna go during the tulip season, which is only about the last week of March to about the second week of May, if you wanna go and see the flowers at Kukanoff Gardens, you can do some of those itineraries at other times, but they're not in, um, Kukanoff is only open for about those eight weeks. Um, so that's a prime time. So when people talk about itineraries, they're like, when do you go? They worry about water levels. That happens a lot of times, or if it does in the summer, when the water levels can be different, but in the spring or the fall, it might not be as bad. Um, and it's really not an issue because they know how to, to deal with that because of the ships and the drafts and how they work with it. Because you have to remember outside of river cruising for recreation that we want to do, this is also their livelihood. So there's plenty of choices. If you want to do the Christmas markets, which can be in Germany or other parts of Europe, you can do that. The true Christmas market season runs from around Thanksgiving our time. It's like a six week window and then they start to wean off. I did a New Year's Eve cruise and we went to Christmas markets in Prague, but there were no other Christmas markets open except for Salzburg. But we still got to see them, but it wasn't a Christmas market focused cruise. Um, the other thing to keep in mind when you're doing these itineraries is that you can do add-ons. Prague is an absolutely exceptional place. I advise anyone if you're doing um, something along the Danube that starts in Vilshoven or in Germany, go to Prague. It's just amazing. You can end there, that trip in Budapest and spend time. Um, when you're looking at the Rhine, you have great opportunities to start and spend time in Amsterdam or finish in Lucerne, which is just stunning against Mount Pilatus with that gorgeous views of the, of the lake. And then if you're going to Western Europe and doing Portugal and the Douro Valley, um, they'll do that and come into Lisbon and things of that nature. And then anywhere in France with some of those ones that go through the wine regions. So there's all these different itineraries, all these different great rivers, 
Um, they give you accessibility to wonderful little towns that you're just gonna fall in love with. Trust me on that, they're just beautiful if you haven't been there. And then if you wanna have a theme cruise, whether it's wine themed or history themed or Jewish history for that, there's all those different ones um, that you can do. A lot of the ones go to Northern Europe, go to the places of Normandy, which people like, because they wanna learn that history and that background of what happened there. So there's great, great options. It all depends what you like. Just gotta give me a call and we can talk it out. I can advise you on what makes the most sense. Um, some itineraries fill up much quicker. The ones that are to the Douro Valley in the summertime, there's availability because it tends to be warmer and those ships are a little smaller. So you gotta be smart, gotta let me help you advise on that because then you think ahead and get it going. But if you wanna try river cruising, there's a time of the year and there's an itinerary that will work for you. Just let me help you find it. So I know I just did a lot in the last five minutes, but just let's talk. Great itineraries, I'll learn more. Um, about it so I can share you more and use my experience for my couple cruises I'm going on next month. And we'll get you talking about a river cruise, get you booked and get you on one and you're going to love it no matter where you go on the ship. So till then, I will be seeing you. Um, I'm really looking forward to learning more at the expo um, next month. And then um, I'll be sharing it right back with you. If you have any questions, send them my way. Captain's here to help. You all have a great day. Bye.